A Channel 2 Action News exclusive. We're seeing the moment a suspected car thief slammed into multiple drivers and then took off running. Somehow, no one was killed. Channel 2's Michael Seiden, live now in Southeast Atlanta where the car was stolen. And Michael, you found out the suspect's an outspoken critic of the police training facility. You know, George, 33 year old Matthew Johnson, no stranger to our cameras. He has been on multiple times opposing that project, but tonight he's in some serious trouble. That's because police say he stole a Mercedes right there from that business. He is not shy when it comes to voicing his opinion about the controversial Atlanta Public Safety Training Center. All of the clearing of the trees alone should not have happened. But tonight, Matthew Johnson, executive director of beloved community ministries, is under arrest, facing multiple charges after police say he stole a Mercedes last Friday, then took off down Moreland Avenue, where traffic cameras captured this frightening moment as he slammed into multiple drivers, showing no regard for human life. In fact, watch again as this pickup truck flips multiple times across traffic injuring the driver inside. Seconds later, cameras showed Johnson as he emerged from the wreckage, but he didn't get very far. Police took him into custody hey, 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 hey. without any problems. This afternoon, we returned to the business on Moreland Avenue where he's accused of stealing that Mercedes. Employees declined to go on camera, but they agreed to walk us through the surveillance video. They told us that Johnson was there to pick up his SUV but they say before he paid for the work, he reached over the front counter and stole the keys to another customer's car. You can see that he paid for his own car, but they say as soon as he headed outside, he jumped into the Mercedes. A manager tried to stop him, but he took off. As of Tuesday afternoon, his SUV is still there. Employees say they're not concerned with it. They're just grateful that no one was killed. And again, we just checked his SUV still remains on the lot. They say they're going to have it towed by the end of the week. Uh, meantime, we're continuing to reach out to Matthew Johnson, but so far our calls haven't been returned. We're live in Southeast Atlanta, Michael Seiden, Channel 2 Action News.